Hello again and welcome back to the shop. Today I thought I'd try something I've never done before. I took a can, just like this one, and I cut it into strips and I took a maple blank and I segmented that blank and I glued the strips of that can between the segments and it made a very interesting looking pen. So I thought I would share that process with you today. Reason why I marked out the first one, I got a little too close to the edges. I want to stay more toward the center with my design. Um, so I went ahead and blanked this one out. We're not going to use that one. We'll use this one. using a little CA glue. Epoxy might be better, but I don't have any epoxy right now. I'm going to get any dust off here that there is. Nice clean cut on the scroll saw. Happy about that. I'm just going to really, really hit it with the glue. And then we'll lay a piece of our aluminum can on here. A little bit of dust on that one. And let's get this side really good. Okay, and let's flip this over. Okay, there we go. Now what I want to do is get some clamps on here. There you go. Now we're just going to let her dry. Here's the blank. The CA glue has dried. I did shoot it with some accelerator to help speed that process. Uh, happy with how that turned out. I'm going to take it to my belt sander and uh, just basically, you know, sand the rough edges down. I'll trim these off first and then I'm going to go back and make a cut probably on this side. Uh, something very similar to what I did there just to give it kind of a unique design and uh, We'll see how it looks when we turn it. I went ahead and repeated the cuts on the blank and gluing the aluminum can in three more times on this blank and came up with sort of a chain link pattern. 
Like I said, I didn't get real critical with making sure I cut perfectly on the lines or anything like that. I just had fun with it and uh, made what I think is a cool looking blank. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, cut, get some tubes drilled in it, and turn it, and we'll see what it looks like. Got the blank mounted up. Uh, didn't show all of the process to doing that, but really it's, it's straightforward. I, I cut the blank to length, drilled a hole 7 millimeters uh, in diameter down the center, glued a couple of brass tubes in each half, and then barrel trimmed the ends. Uh, I show this process in so many of my other videos. I thought I'd leave it out uh, in the essence of saving a little bit of time. So I've got the lathe turned up to full speed, and I'm going to go ahead and turn these down and see how they, how they look. I really like the way this is turning out. I mean, it's cool. You got a lot of the red from the Coke can in there. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, shut the camera off, and I'm going to sand this uh, blank down, uh, and then I'll come back uh, when I finish, and I'll put a little finish on it and show you guys how it looks. But I'm just absolutely blown away with, uh, with how this is turning out. I had no idea it would look like this. Um, I can honestly say I'll do some more of these. I had no, no, I could not tell that that aluminum was in there. It turned just like uh, maple, and uh, you had no idea that that was in there. So real happy about that. I didn't notice my tool getting dull. It stayed sharp. So let me uh, shut the camera off, get this sanded down, and we'll come back and finish. I am really happy with how this blank is turning out. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I just was something I decided to try. I didn't invent this. Uh, other people have done it, I'm sure, but uh, I had never tried it, and I thought I'd give it a shot. And I'm really happy. I'm going to go ahead and put some CA. I've got it sanded down to 400, uh, and I've cleaned it off with some denatured alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and apply some CA. I'll start off with a couple of coats of medium, and I'll hit it with some accelerator. Uh, I don't feel any gaps, but that way, if there are any gaps, this will sort of fill them in. And uh, once I you know, get maybe three coats of the medium on there, I'll sand it with some micro mesh, and then we'll go back uh, and put several coats of uh, a thin CA. So let's get started. really shined it up. I'm going to go ahead and break out the micro mesh pads. Uh, just do a very light sanding, just a scuff sanding really, to take any uh, rough points off, high points. Uh, then we'll come back and put uh, some thin CA on it. With these micro mesh pads, I don't like to leave them on there for a long period of time. I just like to get them wet and then slightly buff the surface. The idea is just to level things out so that I get a nice smooth finish with uh, the next couple of coats of CA that I, I put on the blank. I am dipping them in water each time before I apply them to the, to the surface of the pen. It does dull the surface just a tiny bit, but it makes it glass smooth, and that's what we're looking for. So now we're going to come back and apply uh, four to six coats of a thin CA glue uh, just to put a top coat on it. I did the first coat by drooling the CA on, and now I'm just going to apply several coats by just applying it to a towel and then rubbing it on. This will give a really nice, beautiful surface appearance. Doing it this way, the CA glue dries very fast, so I can apply the coats almost immediately. 
I don't know, that's about three, maybe four. We'll go uh, two more coats. It takes me longer to prepare the towel to apply the CA than it does to actually apply it. All right, now just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this with a little bit of accelerator just to make sure everything dries. And let's have a look at it. Wow. It looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead and polish it. I use a little bit of this Hut Ultra Gloss to polish it. Uh, this is a plastic polish, but the CA glue forms a plastic shell on the blanks, so it does a really nice job of really making the blank pop. So let me uh, get a paper towel and we'll apply some of this. This stuff's real runny, so you got to watch out when you pour it. You see I spilt it all over my lathe. It doesn't hurt anything because it's a polish, but you just don't want to waste too much of it. I just put it on like a regular friction polish, apply a little bit of pressure, and then I get a clean paper towel and buff it off. And it looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one more coat of polish uh, on the pin and then we're going to get it off the lathe and get it assembled. Here's my finished pin. Very happy with how it turned out. I took a plain maple blank, did not have a lot of figure, and uh, segmented it, put this uh, strips of aluminum from a Coke can in there, and made a pin that really pops. Absolutely love how this pin turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you don't subscribe to my channel, I'd like to invite you to hit the subscribe button. That way any future videos that I do will be sent directly to your YouTube feed. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like the video, share it with your friends or leave a comment for me. I appreciate you guys taking your valuable time to watch my video. And as always, please remember, you are always welcome in my shop. Have a great evening, guys.